I want to share just a little bit about uh, rapture dreams. Um, I've, I've noticed on a another a couple of different websites uh, people making fun of people having rapture dreams and claiming that you know they're all wackos or whatever. And uh, I, I want to speak to that subject because um, I had a, I shared it with y'all I had a rapture dream a, few, a couple weeks ago, and um, I've never had one before. And um, I believe definitely it was from my creator, Yahuwah. Uh, the book of Acts talks about that in the latter days that Yahuwah would pour out his spirit upon all flesh. He may mention the fact that your young daughters uh, uh, shall prophesy, your young men shall dream, I mean, shall, shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. <laughs> As I mentioned to you, I'm an old man, so that's why I was dreaming. But the fact is that uh, in the latter days, this was also to be a sign to us that Yahuwah was be pouring out his spirit or his Ruach upon all flesh. Now, I'm not saying that all dreams are from our creator, Yahuwah. I'm not even saying that if someone tells you they had a dream about the rapture that it's accurate or true. Now, it could be. It could be a, a sign. It could be something that Yahuwah is trying to communicate not only to them but to his people. And um, and. So with that said, how do you judge where or whether a dream is is uh, you know is it is it uh, accurate or is it something that somebody just made up or is it is it something that that people put their own interpretation on certain things and the, the only safe way to do it is is to compare it to scriptures, com see if there's any violation of the scriptures. You know, if I was come if I was come up with some wild dream that you know that I dreamed that uh, that the body of Mashiach was going through the tribulation and that all this other teaching was in air and so forth that the rapture was a lie and all that well that 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 would be the lie that would be the uh, uh, even though I could say I had a dream see that doesn't that doesn't uh, uh, connect with the word of Yahuwah it won't if it's if the dream is from Yahuwah it will not violate his own word so that's one way you could know. So to say that all dreams that people get on Facebook or or YouTube and, and uh, share about, you know, may or may not have been from the Creator, but to discount them all, say that none of them are, is also just as bad. Um, I know that in that the dream that I had was was real, uh, was not only just so real to me, but it was <clears throat> I know for a fact that the couple things that that were emphasized to me by Yahuwah was to uh, stir me up uh, not only in my personal life where I am have a different focus or uh, attention about things that I'm doing right now where my time is being shifted more toward uh, completing the, 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 the race that's set before me knowing that the I can see the finish line I don't know how, how close I am to the finish line but I know that it's close and so there's a lot of you out there also that you just don't know how close we are. And I, that's why I think Yahuwah gives us these dreams uh, to, to stress upon us the importance that the time is near. Um, so my particular dream, though, I shared with you, and you can go back and, and uh, listen to it if you haven't already. Um, but without going into all that other detail about it, you know, the, some of the things that I did bring out was the fact that it was, of course, like an ordinary day, and it happened just like the Messiah or Mashiach said that it was like the days of Noah and Lot, that it was like a normal, ordinary day. Nothing really special about it that that I was thinking that it was going to happen on that particular day. And um, that was one of the things that really stood out to me. Of course, the other thing was it was a, also a day of judgment. Even though it was a great day for me and for those that know the Messiah, we were going home. And our redemption was being completed. You know, the, this mortal body was putting on immortality. What a great and awesome day and what a great day that will actually be. We'll be in the presence of our Creator. And the scripture declares that to be in His presence is fullness of joy. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that excites me because you know, I, I can I can think about times where I've been really, you know, had a lot a whole lot of joy and happiness, but you know, to be in his presence, it's fullness of joy. In other words, that you couldn't have any more. <laughs> and uh, so and the Yahusha himself, our Messiah Mashiach, 
said that we would also that once he called us up that so shall we ever be with him in other words there won't be another time that we will not be with him oh that what a comforting time and a thought that is to have so but again it's also a day of uh of gloominess i, I told you that in that dream that it, the it was bright bright sunshiny outside during the day and that all of, all of a sudden it became pitch black and that was such a dramatic change in in you know everything and, and of course it i realized something was about to happen and of course as, as i stated in the dream i began to ascend during that time frame and but the thought came to me that there were a lot of people being left behind some that i didn't know by name i mean some that, that it affected me that i knew say these are people i knew but i did there was no one in particular that i thought of at that particular time and i know that you're concerned about you know loved ones and, and people that you know also now there are, there will be people saved during the during this time frame the tribulation but as i pointed out to you uh, it's not a time that they would choose you know in other words if if they think that's the waiting till the tribulation happens to make up their mind there's no guarantee that they would make that decision because it's going to be such a time of darkness and deception but there will be a lot of people saved during the tribulation because um, Revelation chapter 7 talks about the people that have come through the tribulation in the vision there in, in heaven. Uh, but these are people that are saved during that time frame that have given up their lives. So evidently these people, you know, uh, have paid the ultimate price for their salvation by, uh, by giving up their life for the testimony of the Mashiach. So... With that said, talking about dreams, uh, don't discount all dreams. You know, uh, I, I take them with like a grain of salt when I hear somebody has a dream. Well, I'll listen to what they say, and if, if it doesn't violate Scripture, then I'm, hallelujah, praise Yahuwah, you know. But if, if, it's a, if it's something wacko and it doesn't line up with the Scriptures, then I, you know, I don't pay attention to it. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, thank you for your time this evening, and uh, thanks for your uh, encouragement. And please, again, share this with others. And until next time, shalom.